Hey guys, what's up? Yo, Kurama here. Today, I will be bringing you guys an anime review of the anime series known as Sankareya. Sankareya is a 12 episode anime TV series produced by Studio Dean. And seriously, this series has like every genre put into it. Okay, not every, but most of them. It got comedy, got edgy, it got horror, it got romance, got shown and supernatural. And I think at this point, this has become its own genre since there's been so many anime and just overall media made about this sort of story it also got zombie so whenever i see a zombie anime i would be classifying zombie as its own genre because there's so much of those kind of series out there nowadays so the story is about our main character furuya now this guy is completely obsessed with zombies he loves zombie flicks he loves zombie comics merchandise so he's, he's a zombie otaku and he has this one dream to fall into a romance with a real zombie. One day his cat, which he really really loved, died and he couldn't accept it so he got this old book that he had pretty much explaining how to bring somebody back to life and he goes on a journey to bring back his cat to life. While doing so he stumbles across a girl named Rea who is also one of our main characters. She gets involved into this accident where she herself dies and is turned into a zombie. I won't go into the details of what happened because that will be spoiler, but yes, she becomes a zombie. And that's not a spoiler, even though it happens a few episodes in, that's technically not a spoiler since it's sort of obvious that it's gonna happen. So now he has this zombie girl in front of his eyes. So is this dream gonna come true? Okay, this being a zombie anime, it's still not a, your typical type of zombie series. There is a lot more depth to the series and Rhea, she's not the typical zombie that you see around in any other zombie sort of series. One of my favorite parts of the story is the backstory of Rhea and pretty much showing her childhood, her relationship with her father and the rest of her family, which at parts really creeped me out. But Furia's backstory we don't really see of much, but we do hear that there is something that has to do with his grandfather and his mother and all that kind of stuff, but really we do not find out anything. We do slowly start finding out some things about his past in the OVA. There's a two episode OVA actually. Uh, one episode has aired so far. The second episode airs in November. And I totally, totally recommend you guys watch it. You can watch it before you watch the series. You can watch it after. You can watch it in between. But definitely, definitely check it out. It will give you more depth to the story of how Furuya and Reya met. Why were they in the place that they were and all that kind of stuff. So the first episode was awesome of the OVA and anybody who has not checked it out yet that has watched the whole Sankareya anime series definitely check it out. The animation was beautiful for this one. Ever since the first episode out of all the anime that came out in the spring this is actually one that caught my attention from like the first 30 seconds. I totally loved it from the beginning till the end. This is a zombie series so you can probably imagine you know it having this like dark atmosphere and the animation is all gloomy and gray and dark which yes it had parts like that, but also it had some very bright, vivid colors in some parts of the series as well. So it, it has everything when it comes to animation. No real complaints in that one. Music was not the most memorable. I'm just trying to sit here and trying to remember some of the OST. And there, there is some memorable tracks like the horror suspense type tracks. But other than that, especially the opening and ending, it didn't leave any real impression on me. So, overall thoughts? Very, very enjoyable series. Probably my top 10 of spring anime that came out this spring. Watch it if you love great animation. And watch it especially if you are a zombie fan and you want to see something a little bit different. Kind of like a zombie romance type series, but not all the way. And watch it if you are a fan of love triangles. Because there is a little love triangle going around with Furuya's childhood friend thrown 
into it. The ending just ends the series. It doesn't really complete it or anything. It just ends it actually on a very, very cliffhanger -y type part. Hopefully they're gonna add another season, but I doubt that it's gonna come out for another half a year at least because we have to wait for a bit more chapters to come out in the manga since the anime is sort of caught up to the manga. But yeah, guys, this is an anime series that Yokurama approves. Now, if you have seen this anime series, make sure you leave me your thoughts and comments below what you guys thought of it. Do you guys agree, disagree, and all that kind of good stuff? And if you are gonna watch the series, make sure you come back to this video and leave me your thoughts and comments below of your first impressions of this series. Always love reading those comments. I'm Yokurama, Facebook and Twitter in the description below. So you don't forget to like and follow me there. If you like this video in particular, make sure you favorite it. It definitely helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. And if you're watching me for the very first time, make sure that you click the subscribe button up there to be updated with my latest videos. And baby, I'm out. Peace.